What's really unique about CSU, what's great about the courses that we have at the moment and, and the way that we're redeveloping and reworking them, is that the students get a bit of everything. So they, regardless of what industry they're in, they'll do some video production, they'll do some audio production, they'll learn how to present, they'll learn how to be professional communicators. And from my perspective, that's exactly what they need, so that they can work with people all across the communication, media and entertainment industries, regardless of what particular discipline expertise they have. But then, once they've got these base skills, they get to work really nicely and get really deep skills as well in the particular field that they've chosen. So if that's radio, then they spend a lot of time making radio, whether that's as producing or on air. One of the interesting things that you said to me earlier was the idea of kind of write your own story or build your own career path. Tell me about that. So we have a list of things that we expect students to be able to do to achieve and that includes this ability to generate media in all of these different platforms. But within that, um, and within each and every subject, students basically get to choose what, f what pro approach they want to take, what kinds of stories they want to tell, what projects they want to work on. And typically we say, tell your story in this medium, but what story you tell is up to you. So ultimately, students are getting to build their interests and build their knowledge in fields that matter to them. Do you find that when they graduate, there's a range of different paths they take? Yeah, our students get employment all across the media and communication industries. You might know them as the Mitchell Mafia, but they turn up in radio, they turn up on television, they turn up in theatre working at places like the Opera House, um, and they turn up all around the world in, in lots of different fields. And not just on air, but sales and other areas too? The whole industry, you know, there's a very small slice of people in radio who actually are on air and uh, the industry runs on the backs of people who are going out there and getting clients for the business, the people who are actually producing the audio show. So we make sure that our students can fill those roles as necessary. CSU also does bespoke courses. You've done one recently for SCA. How did that go? Yeah, so we have this, uh, this bespoke course called the SCA Academy where staff from all across the SCA business come into CSU, they spend about 10 weeks doing an online course and then they come in for an intensive five week session, which is just like a res session. And they can use that as credit towards an actual CSU subject or towards, um, it, it is a university subject, so they can use it as credit in any degree that they wish, or alternately they can just take it away. But look, we've had great feedback from SCA executives about that program. Um, and we've run similar things in journalism for organisations like Fairfax as well. So those kinds of approaches are, you know, organisations come in, they get to work with our really expert staff in that field, they get to decide what the content should consist of, and we spend our time and expertise putting it all together and making sure it works for the organisation in question. Are you keeping up with the trends in the industry and teaching that to the students, podcasting, digital media, things like that? Well, my background's in digital media, so that's my main focus. I look at things like social media all the time. I came up, I studied social media as an undergrad myself, and then my PhD was all about social and digital media and various other things as well. Uh, in addition to that, I worked on radio and, and in all sorts of other places. So, yeah, look, we absolutely try and embed all of our courses with those fields. And certainly as we go through this ongoing redevelopment, we're going to make sure digital is front and centre of everything that we do. Podcasting in particular is becoming huge in radio and in the audio, for audio on demand as they call it. And we're really starting to move into that space as well. I myself host a Rick and Morty podcast. So, you know, that's just a, it's just a side project away from my job at CSU. But... Um, we like to do that kind of thing, we like to experiment and if students want to run podcasts we, you know, we'll help them do it but they'll also get opportunities in the structured subjects and in, in the projects that we offer them. How is the course structured if a student um, applies? What are they applying for? So when they come into the course, you'll get, at the moment, you'll get three core subjects, which is shared across everybody in the Bachelor of Communication. And you'll get presentation for communicators, you'll get introduction to video production, and you'll get professional writing skills. So things that all communicators, we think they need to know. But then if you're coming into the radio program, you'll get an introduction to radio course, and you'll basically work through in that same way. So as it goes on, you get more and more specialised, and it's capped off with a final um, major project and a 10-week internship in the case of radio as well. I heard that a lot of the interns end up working in the places that they interned at. 
Look, I mean, that's the point of internships, isn't it? Not just to get work experience, but actually to get jobs at the end of it. And we're really, really pleased that our graduates really often get jobs. Um, they, walk, they finish their internship and they get offered a job either then or the following year once they've graduated.